Begin by navigating to the manufacturing workspace, where the outlet box is displayed in its folded state. To switch it to the unfolded state, open the browser, expand the model section, and activate the flat pattern for the outlet box. Now, proceed to create a manufacturing setup. Back in the setup group, select setup. Within the setup dialog, cheat metal body for your setup. Choose your desired machine. Confirm the selection. And if prompted, download the model to the current folder. Back in the setup dialog, under model, click select and choose the sheet metal body for your setup. Next, switch to the stock tab in the setup dialog. Adjust the stock side offset to 0.5 inches to add additional material around the part. Leave the remaining settings as they are and click OK. To define the cutting process, go to the 2D group and select 2D contour. In the 2D Contour dialog, click Select to open the Tool Selection interface. Navigate to the Fusion Library, select Milling Tools, Inch, and refine your options by setting the Tool Category to Milling and the Tool Type to Flat End Mill. Choose the 1 16th inch Flat End Mill tool and confirm by clicking Select. In the 2D Contour dialog, switch to the Geometry tab and select the bottom face of the part as the profile. This ensures all edges of the selected face, including small hole profiles, are included. If tabs are required, enable the Tabs option and set the tab distance to 1 inch. Then. Go to the Passes tab and set the lead-in distance to 0.8 inches. Leave all other parameters unchanged and finalize the process by clicking OK. To simulate the toolpath, open the Actions menu and select Simulate. Start the simulation by pressing Play at the bottom of the canvas. Once the simulation completes, exit by clicking Exit Simulation. To generate the G-code automatically, select Post Process from the Actions menu. With these steps, you now know how to cut a sheet metal part in Fusion 360 efficiently.